Hey guys, so I want to make a video talking about probably one of the most important and overlooked tools in rebuilding small engines. It's a piston ring compressor. And this is an actual Briggs & Stratton brand one. And there's a part number for it, if you can see it. 19340X, made in the U.S. And it says, uh, wear safety glasses, so make sure to do that. But anyway, this is for installing and removing piston rings. And it's something that... You know, I've been told before that I should use, but I never really seen the importance of it until I started using it. Then I decided I'll never go back. Like if I could change things, this would be one of the first tools that I bought when I first started getting into small engine repair. I had this, I bought this probably two years ago and just started using it about probably two months ago. But, so I want to install all three of these piston rings. This is an eight horsepower Briggs piston. This is the same for automotive and everything else too. This just happens to be what size this one's for. <clears throat> so this is part of the oil control ring. It'll go on like I normally do. Then you put your ring in here. Make sure it's oriented right. This oil control ring can go either way. So you notice these parts right here expand out. And this is fit several different sizes of pistons so you want to get this sitting in here where it's flush up against from both sides so if not it can actually shoot out don't ask me how I knew that so now when you squeeze the handle it'll expand the ring now obviously you don't want to go crazy with it you don't want to expand it any more than you need to and you can just place it where it needs to go so simple <clears throat> And the same for the other two rings. Make sure we get the orientation right. You can just expand it out enough to and just place it in the groove. Now this top ring will go on the same way. One reason I'm doing all three just to show you how quick you can do one piston. And that's it. It's all three rings installed. So now the only thing you gotta do is just line up your make sure your ring gaps aren't lined up. You know on Briggs and Stratton engines if you see this little notch that always points towards the flywheel. Like there's really no difference in the piston that I've ever discovered but I've always done it because that's what they always say to do. And the pistons, you can use it to remove the pistons as well. It's not quite as easy, but still easier than other methods. You kind of got to hold the back side of it just a little bit to keep it from like going in. So this one's being a little stubborn for some reason. And obviously you still have to remove the control part as you normally would. But look, no damage to the piston, no scratches, because you know, I used to always try to walk the oil ring up from the skirt of the piston. There'd always be a gouge all the way through there, so don't have to worry about that no more. It's faster. Like, I did all this in the amount of time it almost takes to do one of the other rings, just putting them in. Now then put them on and took them off. No damage to the rings or the piston. But you got to be careful with rings, because most of the rings are made out of cast iron, and it's real uh, delicate, and it'll break real easy. But this puts even pressure around, so you just expand it out just enough to put around the piston and drop it on a lifesaver, game changer, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Highly recommended. Uh, I want to say this cost around $15 to $20, something like that. I'd pay twice that for it just, just to have it because it's worth it. Um, very nice tool. And they're weird made the way it's made, but yeah, it works. But see, it adapts to any size ring, you know, within reason that it's made for. You're not going to be able to put a ring smaller than this, or a ring 
This will go up. You probably do automotive pistons with this too. It'd just be kind of harder to do. But well, guys, this video is getting a little longer than I thought it would be. I just wanted to put that up because I uh, highly recommend it. Um, so yeah. Any questions, comments, or suggestions for similar tools, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching, guys.